Hey friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and we are on part four of the Advent-themed junk journal that we've been making. Um, if you haven't watched parts one through three, you might want to jump back and take a look. But today is going to be all about looking, making some and looking at the ones I've already made of different tags and journaling cards and pretties to put the finishing touches on our journal. Um, and I also have a couple of ideas to decorate the front just a touch more. So we're going to do that as well. Um, this is the Yuletide Cheer Paper from Joey Cardmaker. I love it. I'm just thrilled with um, the papers and how everything is turning out. So again, the premise is we have a pocket or a flip out or a tuck spot. Um that takes us from the 1st of December to Christmas Day. And um, we made the journal, put the signatures in, made the pockets, installed the pockets, and now I am going through and adding some finishing touches um, with some fun tags and ribbons and I'm just using a lot of the pieces from the kit some I'm layering um, adding some ribbons some I'm kind of leaving the way they are uh, so again just to, to give um, and this one's going to be for my daughter um, but to give whoever's going to use the journal um, the opportunity each day they can write something um, that's going on they could um, I, you know, she could talk about um, what she's doing to prepare for the holidays. You could put a recipe, just all kinds of things that you could do. You could um, add pictures. She's a photographer, so I might even encourage her um, to include some of her adventures and things so that in the years to come, if she wants to look back on it. I was kind of thinking of it being a journal, like, for 2024, but... I also think it would be super fun if she looked at the journal. Um, I would say if a particular day moved her to write or journal something great, but to put the date, including the year, so that later, if she wants to, um, in in following years, she could add to it. Right? She's young. It could be. It could become something that is a little treasure that she does each December. I don't know. Maybe that's too much pressure on someone who's in their 20s, right? <laughs> okay, so I also use some of the little stamps from the kit to adorn the strings and my signature here. Um, Joey included in this kit um, two of these journaling cards. I backed mine um, with another pattern piece of cardstock from the kit because it slides in this pocket it's not hard at all. I'm not quite sure it was working great and then it kind of started acting a little funny on me. But look how cute it is. And there's another one. So I think it's pretty intuitive how you put it together. But in case you're new to journaling um, and to using some of these different elements that come in a kit, we'll put one together um, on camera so you can see that. So again, I just went through, and like I said, some of the tags and journaling cards I spent a little more time embellishing. I folded up um, this envelope, and I think I'm going to put like a little note in there for her. Um, but again, some of these I spent more time on, and some I just kind of put something I thought was pretty um, just the way it was, you know, right in the pockets so that she'll have plenty of things to look at and explore. She wants to add different things to the pockets. These elements could end up becoming um, page embellishments, those types of things. So again, I kind of want it to be interactive. All right, so this is day 12. And again, I um, think of that as a journaling spot. I think this ribbon looked really cute with these papers. Um, this is just a flip, so it doesn't have a tuck. I think um, these little journaling cards, I'll show you. I have some more print in where you fold them in half, and I just glued them together, and some of them I added a touch of ribbon to, um, but I really like that um, a lot. And this is one of those pockets I left open. So anyway, I'm just kind of showing you the ones that I've already done, 
and I didn't end up, you know, covering up that part of the book page, which I think is fine. I, I like seeing the book page, but obviously when I stuff it full, um, you don't even have to worry about it. I loved this tall, skinny envelope. It's almost like a, a coin envelope or like the, maybe you put bills in. It's um, pretty and I think it looks really cute tucked in this pocket. I can tuck it all the way in or kind of tuck it at an angle. All right, so that got us through day 16 and now we've got to make tags and journal cards and things to put in um, 17 through Christmas Day. So we gotta get busy, we gotta get busy. Um, I'm going to keep this out as a reference point so that I have a sense of the size item that I'll need for each day that we have left. But like I said, I also have just a bunch of the pieces from the kit. So this particular one, I did put some of my copy dyed paper there over the book page so that this could be a journaling spot. And so I do need a little doodad to go in each side. This one's glued down all the way, but I've got these two little pockets here. So um, it's obviously, you know, something this size would fit in there or even this size, with, she would be cute in there. Um, and then some of the littler pieces will also fit. But I'll show you kind of, um, what, what I've been doing is deciding, you know, do I want a layer? I printed out a few more, and I still have some scraps, too, of the collage sheets. I think she'll look pretty with the red. Um, so that I can add to a few of these if I want to. I love those poinsettias. And just kind of make it a little, a little more special. Um, with a few layers, but again, this is optional, and yours will be wonderful no matter how you, you choose to make your tags and your journaling cards. This one, and I do like leaving some of the backs just either the plain white paper, or I put like a kind of a neutral, or even just some of my coffee dyed papers. So... I wanted to tear it this way so we get some of the flowers and some of the solid red. I'm not worrying too much if it's perfect. Um, but I do want to add a little ink and then we'll add a ribbon. A lot of times when I'm making, a, and again, I'm making more than 25 because I definitely am in some of the pockets on some of the days putting multiple items in each pocket um you know I'll, I'll sew I'll do all kinds of things around these and um I think if you guys watch my channel you know I do not know how to um film me using my sewing machine I have not figured a setup yet or how in the world I would do that so I don't know if that will ever happen, but sometimes I'll show you a no sew option and then a sewn option and what it looks like if you choose to sew, because I do like to sew on paper. Um, it's fun. So some different ways to do some bows and things. Let's find, no, let me find a ribbon that I'm happy with. I just did this on a couple, so I may have to rearrange um, the order but I thought it was really cute. So I'm just gonna cut two pieces approximately the same size. You could do more than two. But I just thought it looked so cute, just kind of making little loops like this, almost like little bunny ears <laughs> or a heart even, you know, if you put them together. This ribbon's a little slippery. But just some little loops like that. And I just stapled them on. And it just gave a little different look than I usually have the cut edge of the ribbon pointing up or loose. Oh, look, it did. It turned right into a heart for me. Very sweet. All right, so there's that lady, little girl. And now let's put something in the back side of the pocket. 
And again, I haven't gone through what I have left and what sizes and things that I need. So if we have to, we can always rearrange, but I just wanted a little something in each one. A few years ago, I made for my daughter, Sarah, a scrapbook, um, not a scrapbook, a cookbook junk journal. And I used some really pretty papers. Um, here, we'll do one of these. Um, anyway, so I'm not doing recipes, but I wanted to mention, I think recipes would be a super fun one to put in here for people to um, find, even if you don't do one for every day, but oh, some fun new or family, you know, traditional recipes to have. So there's lots of different ways I think you can do these journaling cards that Joey included in the kit. Sometimes I cut them apart and have lots. Um, sometimes I fold them in half like this and just leave it. Sometimes I glue them together. These I've been gluing together, so I am gonna do that really quick. Um, again, these lend well to if you wanna sew around the edge um, to give it a little extra appeal. That's nice. We do have some of these sweet little um, there's some circles and squares and different ones. I didn't cut them all out, but this one just says Merry Christmas. So I think I'm gonna put it on there kind of just like a little, a little tag to give it a little something. Um, I'm just using my wet white glue. This is Lineco brand PVA glue. If you guys want or are interested in any of the crafting supplies I use, most of them are my Amazon shop. So feel free to take a look. Um, it's an affiliate link, so Amazon does give me a few pennies if you end up making a purchase. It's no cost to you. I'm getting pretty good at saying that, aren't I? Um, again, don't don't feel like you need to make a purchase, but if you do need some supplies and would, you would like to see what I use, I get asked a lot about my supplies. So it's a it's a win win. It's a way for me to have that there for you guys. Um, and also um, help my business a touch. Look at that, I think that is so cute. And again, we can be adding other things to the pages. There's just all kinds of things we can do. All right, on this one, we're gonna definitely make some things to go um, in these different pockets in this envelope, but we're also going to do something with these strings. Now on the first signature, I used some of the faux postage stamps. I think they look really cute. I think for this one, I punched out, one of the pages has a bunch of coordinating, just little circles, and I used my one inch punch. This one's a little bit smaller. I think I hand cut that one. Um, and I'm just gonna pick four of them, and we're just gonna glue them on. So I'll have postage stamps on the first signature, and we'll have these decorative circles on this one. Again, optional. I think it gives it another little, a little um, extra, extra. I have um, put little tiny seed beads on these and they don't add too, too, too much bulk. I've also done little things kind of at multiple spots up the string. So again, get creative. And the way I do it, I, I am gonna be careful because I don't wanna get glue on my pretty pocket, you know, here that I've made but I'm adding glue all to, to one side, and then I'm just gonna lay that string down in the glue, and then we're just gonna sandwich it. And it should all dry with no problem, and hold that little string in there. I haven't ever had one come out, and I haven't tried to pull it out, but I think once this glue dries, it is not gonna go anywhere cute. A lot of times I do my little tiny circle like this size, but I think the bigger ones, the stamp, the rectangle in these circles are, you know, they're, they're cute. They're working. So, um, I do hearts a lot. Um, I've also done like just little, even just like little torn scraps of paper, depending on the journal. That's looked really cute. Um, where you can just looking for a scrap you know you could just take a piece like this and put it on and it looks really cute uh, tear this off so it, it would be something like that 
you know, wouldn't that be cute? So again, use your imagination and make those however you would like that you think will be cute. All right, I'm gonna let those dry. This pocket, let's remind ourselves, I installed it where we have a nice big pocket back here and then it also opens up and um, something like this would fit inside. So let's just ink this and tuck it inside. Again, you can write on the back, use it later if you're making other tags or um, wanting to decorate pages. Um, let's see. Um, what do we want to do with this sweet little fella? He's cute. Um, let's back him on a piece of paper too. Oh, he'll look cute on this yellow, don't you think? Maybe even with those pine cones. Kind of put him off center a little bit. Let's do that. I'm going to glue him down and get him. I think I've already inked him. Can't tell. Um, and then I'm going to glue him where I want him, and then we'll trim it out. And that way I get, get the paper layered the way that I want. Because I'm thinking about, um, like I said, doing it a little bit off center so we get that fun greenery a little bit in the pine cone. Cute, right? This is sometimes just my absolute favorite kind of crafting where I just get a kit or get my supplies, you know, um, my old books, images, things like that out and I just go to town and it makes me very happy. So um, I'm hoping this won't be a super, super duper long video, but I do want to make sure I have at least a little something for each of these pockets. Very sweet. Um, how about just a piece of twine, a bow on top for him? We'll just tie a little bow. And this is what I call my um, really rustic twine. It has some of these pieces um, woven in there a lot of times like that they just kind of pull out um, that was a little cattywampus but it's okay um, a lot of times I use my wet white glue to hold these types of um, little bows down but I'm not wanting to have to wait for things to dry before I can tuck them in so we're gonna use the glue dots I want to forget to make that pocket. Okay, this one is a hidden journaling spot. And this pocket works this way. Let's find something. It goes like that. Okay. So, I want something in there. Oh, that'll be nice. It'll fit. And I think I'm going to leave it a little plain. We could certainly have it hang out a little bit or have a ribbon or something that's coming out the end, but I've kind of kept this, I guess I have one right there. I've kept it pretty neat, so I'm going to kind of stay with that for right now. I I know who I'm giving this one to, and um, Sarah, I, I guess she, she likes ribbons and those types of things, but she's probably a little more of a minimalist in her style. Not that there is anything, in my opinion, about this beautiful journal that is an extra. I think it's all extra and wonderful. Um, okay, I think this is the pockets here. But knowing that I'm going to give this one to her, I'm probably going to keep it toned down just a touch. All right, aren't those cute together? Um, this could be like Sarah and her brother when they were younger. She was blonde and he had dark hair. His hair was curly though, my son Daniel. Okay, I want, um, I think just a piece of ribbon that we can staple on. Again, when you have a kit with all of these pieces, um, and I only printed the 
um, journaling cards and the ephemera pieces one time. So there is a lot in this kit if you end up um, working with it or another one of Joey's like big, big kits. I also have the um, Christmas Folk and that one would be super cute to also make an advent journal out of. Okay, so this is that funky pocket we made. There's a little square there. That looks kind of weird because of the 22 there, so I'm not going to put that in there, even though I was thinking, oh, this is going to be the perfect size. Why don't we put something a little taller in that little tiny pocket? Okay, and then this is going to be able to handle a large, a fairly large image or piece Let's put one of the Santas in there. And you're probably looking at the pocket, and you're looking at what I just picked out, and you're like, what? If you remember, we installed it like that so I could have something larger um, kind of poking out. All right, and this one, I think I'm just gonna sit in there like that. And then we have the back to write on and the inside. Let's see, what else do we have? This is, I think there ends up being, so that's one, two. We can also tuck something here as three. And then we may need to go, let's go a little more narrow. We'll put a bow on him in a minute or a piece of ribbon. All right, so it's one, two, three, here's four. And then we can get five. We have, um, we have the pack. What day are we on? We're on day 22. Okay, put a little piece of um, greenery. All right, so I'm gonna put something right here and the rest I think I'm just gonna leave the way they are. I've really been wanting to use another piece of this striped ribbon and I think it goes well, even though his little bow tie is a solid burgundy. I think the, the striped ribbon here just looks quite sassy with him and put him down in that pocket okay so what a fun stuffed pocket for that journal page I love it all right I do want to make sure I don't forget to make this sweet lady so I'm just kind of peeking to see which page I want to put her on This has gotten to be quite the interactive journal. All right, I think we're gonna put her here. Um, oh wait, wonder. All right, this is what she's gonna look like. Very cute. You know what, it can go on this page <laughs> with the flip down and then you see the, see the rest of the pocket. So let me show you how you, what you do with one of these. So any of the pockets that have these little lines and the different things you cut, and there's, there's others, and I've used a few. I put one big pocket here that came with the kit. I was trying to grab a couple to show you. You know, any of these that, that are like this, that have the little lines and then the, the parts you fold over, I'll show you how I do them. So I take out my ruler. And you can use um, a scoring tool like that comes with your scoreboard. You can use a bone folder like this. You can also, now be careful if you use this option, but you can use a razor blade, but we're not gonna use the side that you cut with because we don't wanna cut these off. We're gonna use the back and we're not gonna press hard, but this gets you a really skinny score line and I did not press hard, okay? So I'm gonna do that on all three of these. Again, just make sure you're using the back of the blade. And, whoops, okay. stay next to your ruler. I went off a little onto the paper, but I think it'll be okay. All right, and then these are gonna give you a nice, um, score line to fold on. And then I know I'm going to be adding ink. So you're not going to see the paper split just a little bit, but I mean, not where it's the integrity of the paper is not in danger, <laughs> but you won't see it because I'm adding the ink. Okay. And then 
I tend to, you know, fold these down, make sure everything looks okay. I didn't get that corner perfect, but I think it'll be all right. And then I also just make sure, is she going to slide in here okay? And it seems like she's gonna go in and out very easily. The other one was a little boy, and I did, um, like I said, I ended up backing it to make him a little bit thicker so he would slide better. We'll decide if we need to do that for her. I love this little pocket design. I think it is super cute and fun. All right, I'm just looking to see where I want to install the pocket. And I want it to be, and I'm going to use pencil, the bottom of it right at that little mark so I don't have to worry. Now, I encourage you to take the journaling card out um, and just add glue to these panels. I am making sure that I kind of get it along each of the edges and then the tops of these little pockets because... That's, I think, sometimes what causes the journaling card not to want to slide in is if it gets caught on that little piece of paper. That happens sometimes. How cute. All right, so this is for December 23rd. Yep, she slid right in, so I'm not going to worry about um, gluing another piece of cardstock to this one, at least not now. All right, we have two more to go. And I still have plenty of pieces. One thing, and I haven't done one yet, is I did cut some of these cute tag tabs because I thought they might be cute to embellish some of our um, cards. Let's see what I have left. I'm probably going to fold all of these up and put them in somewhere, even in, you know where I've already um, done pockets, just to have them because they're so cute, and I think they'll. Um, just give more options for my journal. Now, if you want to, you could go ahead. This is going to be cute, right? We'll put a little tab on this one. You know, you, you could write something um, depending on how you want to use your Advent um, journal. Like if you want to give it to somebody for a gift, knowing they're going to I'm gonna glue this one together. Um you know, at each day and you want maybe something for them to read. So you could um, do a quote, so you could do a scripture, a poem, um, a personal note, a recipe, like I said, you know, a memory, you know, you could write a, um, a memory or something. Um, I think I'm going to use this one with the stripes, but I see mine more as when Sarah gets to that day, she's going to be writing in the journal and doing something, but there is something interactive each day for her to look forward to. A new tag or a new little flip or something to look at. Okay, oh, I love that. How cute. All right, so again, you can use these tabs on the edges of pages and things, but you can also use them on your cards. I think I left this open at the top too. So let's see how one will do out of the top. It might get lost down in there, but let's glue it together, put a ribbon on it, and I think make, make sure the ribbon kind of has a long top, and then it'll be fine. If it were to slide in there, we'll, we'll know something's in there that we need to pull out and look at. All right. So this is the Christmas Eve one. Let me see, what ribbon have I not used or haven't used lately? liked this one it's one of those that's only one side you know it's only printed on one side but um it has a little bit of a ivory color to it and um I guess I'm doing a really tall we can always trim it off but um an ivory kind of backing it's not the bright white and it's going nicely with the pages in the journal. 
Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, there she is. All right, and now this is the great big tall pocket. And I left one of the Santas that I wanted to slide in here. I just think it'll be sweet to have Santa come out. So, again, I haven't really done anything. Maybe we'll back him just to make him a little bit sturdier. I'm using a medium weight cardstock, which is um, like 90 pounds. And yeah, I think that will still fit in that pocket. Um, so it's not super duper thick, but it's nice. It's also the page, the weight I used um, for actually the pages. So they have, they're nice and sturdy and can handle all these things we're gluing and sticking on them. Um, but a lot of times I do end up with multiple layers, you know, like the journaling cards, um, mounting them like this so that they they have a little extra. So I, I kind of like doing that instead of going with the super like 110 pound weight, but I do use 110 pound weight. I mean, just, it's just not my everyday kind of go-to anyway. Sometimes when you get these larger pieces, it definitely helps to have a few layers just so um, it just feels a little more substantial. How's that? All right, I hope it, I don't think I made it too big. Cute, yep, yeah, and it does, does slide in and out a lot easier. All right, let's add some ribbons. How about we try that little trick I showed you, but we'll do a couple of different ribbons. Like how about a red stripe? We'll do a piece of the gold. I had like my green and stuff out, but I don't even know. Y'all have such a mess on my desk. Such a mess on my desk. How about this red? I haven't used this red in a while. Um, I have been working on this series, and um, I did a really fun, if y'all haven't seen it, y'all go check it out on the Pink Monarch YouTube channel. I did a folio with a bunch of Christmas tags using um, one of their holiday paper kits. Super cute. I love how it turned out. Um, so I did that. I've been, um, I've also got a one page wonder that I'm filming um, or getting ready to film for you guys. It'll come out in the next day or two. Well, probably after this series, after these. Um, okay, I am just gonna manhandle this till I get it where I want it. Okay, I think it's gonna be fun. Um, what else have I done? Oh, and I'm gonna do a beginner video. I got a request on just kind of different, like papers and glues and eyelets and d just different like basic supplies and things um, for the newer journaler. Um, so that's coming soon. So I've got all kinds of things I'm working on and they're like all over my my office or my craft room, whatever you want to call this space that I'm in. I'm very lucky I have a beautiful craft room, actually, y'all. Um, and I know people have asked for a tour of that, and I am just not in a place yet where I can do that. I have, when I say I have a hot mess, I, I'm going to just glue this down because I think it looks pretty. I'm not exaggerating. So I have got to take some time off, um, probably near the holidays and just really clean up in here. And then maybe after the first of the year when things calm down, we could do a, a craft room tour. Let me know if that's of interest. I can't believe I'm offering that. Ah. All right, I want something for this pocket. I have one of these left. Um, so anyway, lots of things happening. And when I have this many projects rolling around, look at this. One of my daughter's names is Julie, and that's from a book. <laughs> And I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm going to make her something with that. Um, anyway, I just have things everywhere. And I have that piece of paper just sitting here looking at me. <laughs> so I'm like, don't, don't forget me. Make something with me. All right, how about we do this fella, Santa. And then I have, oh no. I haven't done anything with these two yet either, and I definitely want to tuck them in somewhere. I 
I just like the images. All right, so many pieces to this kit. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm not done yet, so if you'll stay with me just a little bit longer, let's put a stocking for Christmas Day too. Um, I am going to work on the, I think the front's beautiful the way that it is. All right, we'll put this ornament in there for Christmas Eve. Um, it's beautiful, and look how thick it's gotten already, y'all. Um, but I want to just do a little more. So I had a couple of ideas. One is I saw this strip in the kit and I thought, well, you know, you can always just have more holly and that would be cute. But then I also had this ribbon and I've got to decide if I like it enough. It's, it's not exactly the right color. It's sort of going towards the color of my packing paper but it, it's kind of like a gray underneath. The idea that I had was to glue a strip of this down. And then let me show you. My mother used to make, and I'm just going to see if I can create one. She used to make these little bows that she would put on packages. And I just think it would be cute on the front of this little journal. So she'd take some ribbon. I don't know what size I want mine to be. And it'll be okay if it flattens, and that's why I was thinking this would work with this type of ribbon that, that does kind of crease. You see that? Um, all right, we're going to staple it here in the middle. I'm trying to remember what she did. All right, so staple it. So you kind of have, like, it looks like an eight, right? And then she would just do like a circle, like a loop, like this. Let's see if I don't know if I cut it long enough. Isn't that cute? All right, let's see if I can make it stay together with my little stapler here. All right. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be cute either to have this little bow on here somewhere, or as I mentioned, do a strip of the ribbon. I wish you guys could tell me what you think before I commit, um, and something like that. And it's just hard for me to tell right now. Um, I'm gonna put my glasses on and look at it from a distance. I take them off when I'm doing close-up crafting it's just so much easier for me to see. Now you're probably thinking, Pam, you got this ribbon and what are you going to do? This bow on the front of your journal. But honestly, even if it gets flattened, I think it's going to look cute. I'm standing up and taking a look from a distance. You know what? We're going to go for it. I like it. It'll remind me of my mother. Her name was Sally. And I'll tell Sarah that Grandma Sally <laughs> used to make silly little bows like that. All right. I think I need to cut this right, right at where this little pine cone is. Um, and we're gonna go for it. I do like this strip of paper. So again, if you made a cover similar to mine and you don't have ribbon like this you wanna do, I think that would look pretty. Just ink it a little bit and center it on here. I just think it kind of offsets it a little bit and gives it a little extra. So I also like that idea. And, <laughs> don't keep talking, um, each of these collaged papers have some type of faux bow. And I think, you know, cutting one of these strips out or even just fussy cutting the bow out, I did that on one of the pockets here. I fussy cutted that green bow. Um that would look really cute on the front too. So that's something else to think about. Okay, I am going to use some of my two-sided tape and hope I like this. Because once I decide to stick it down, I am gonna be a little committed, but it's gonna be all right. Let's see. Oh, can y'all believe we are about done? We have made a whole journal this week. Um, all right, I'm going for it. I'm just going to go for it. 
um, we've made a whole journal this week and I'm just, I've got many hours in and if you're crafting with me, I know you do too, but I hope you have had fun. I hope you will leave me a comment and tell me if you're on social media, post some pictures so I can see what y'all you, have made. <laughs> um, and I, and I just hope you've had fun. Okay. So that's not going anywhere. And now I think I'm going to use the same tape to stick this one down and be done with it. All right. And again, I think the only way these are going to come off is if somebody is like really trying to pull them off. So I'm not too worried. All right. Push that down good. I've got that little tiny strip that was a little long and I'm just gonna fold it back on itself. Okay. Now I just have to decide where. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it and not worry. There we go. I did it. Now, if I want to, I think I'm gonna intentionally try to flatten it a little. We can kind of go like that some. The problem is, is I took, brought my adhesive all the way from when it was flattened. I'm not really thinking about having it fluffed up some. So I think I'm gonna get to have a flat bow whether I want it to be flat or not. <laughs> but I think it looks cute. I like it. I'm super happy. Um, I might go back through, I may not, but I might use a little bit of these liquid pearls and do some dots. Somebody told me how to get rid of the peak on the pearl and I'm really excited about that. She said, just tap. Let's try it on a piece of paper and then I promise we'll stop. I was using my liquid pearls and I was getting peaks. Like, okay, that one didn't really get much of a peak. But she said, if you just tap the paper, I think she said underneath, look at that. It does look like a perfect circle now. So cute. I'm going to do another one and intentionally try to make it have a peak. All right, that one had a little peak. I think it happened more with the um, pearly color one. It's a little bit thicker. So let me find something that I want to maybe put a little bit of this one on there, like for the snow. Oh, yeah. All right, I know y'all probably cannot see this on camera. But there were little peaks, and she said to just kind of flick it. I don't know if she used the word flick. Oh, it works. Huh. Look at that. All right. Well, and I'm sorry that I can't remember your name right now, but thank you for that tip. Um, oh, my gosh. It really works, y'all. I'm so excited. Um, it almost looks like the like meringue, you know, <laughs> and you want the tip. But sometimes I just want these to look like little pearls that are going to draw. So I may go back through. I'm going to set these over here to draw. I may go back through and um, add some, but I haven't decided yet. Um, or maybe just on the front. But I'm happy with it. I love it. Joey, thank you for such beautiful paper. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Thanks, guys. Until next time, have a great day.